Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, this video is actually just to address um, a few questions with regards to the last C-Log video. Now, if you're interested in seeing that video, um, links in the description down below, or you can just click up there if you want to. Anyways, so yes, you can actually use the downloaded C-Log on any Canon camera. With this video, I'm going to show you, or I'm actually going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on actually how to download said software and also install it to your camera. And as an added bonus, I'll also give you step-by-step -step instructions on actually how to reset your camera as well, should you run into any more problems. Okay, so I have here the Canon EOS M3, which is actually an oldie, um, just to show you that it'll actually work with even older cameras. So, okay, so first off, we're gonna try and do a factory reset on the camera itself. So press on. Now, with other cameras, there's actually a few modes that you should need to go. Sometimes they should go into a manual mode, and sometimes you just need to get away from auto. Now, with that being said, with the camera on, go to the menu settings, and as you can see, you have a few menus there, but you want to go to that wrench icon, which has a few settings there that includes your date and time. So you're just going to go and go all the way to clear camera settings right there. So it says there, clear all camera settings, press okay. And that will, and finally confirm it right there. So with the camera settings all resetted, Let's see if we still have that. We're going to video playback. So there you go. Movie mode. Going all the way to basically you've already reset everything. So that doesn't have any picture styles there. So it's all user defined. So as you can see, it's user defined one, two, and three. And you also are stuck again with the auto standard portrait and other picture styles as well so we're now going to install the canon eos utility now it's very important guys that you install the app with accordance to your camera's body type so if you're using a canon eos 90d or if you're using a canon eos eom3 or a rebel ti you really need an app that actually supports that so all you need to do guys is simply search google for canon eos utility plus the body type of your camera and it'll lead you to the proper utility download app okay so going back now so we've already established the canon eos utility so here are the supported models as you can see right there and also it does support canon eos 90d for some of you people that who are asking. As you can see right here, we just need to agree and then download and, and instantly our computer will actually download the product. Now, take note, this is free. This is not a paid service, so which is good. Now, all you need to do is install the Canon EOS utility and get your camera ready. Now, with some cameras like this Canon EOS M3, you actually need a different kind of port not like your other newer Canon cameras, which only needs a USB-C port. So you also need to have the cord for it. Okay, so we're just going to connect this to our laptop right here. And take note guys, uh, the Canon EOS utility app doesn't choose any laptops at the moment. As of right now, I'm actually using this with my 2014 MacBook Air, just to show you that it can still support up until 2014 products. Not sure about any anything that's a bit earlier than that. So all you have to do is just connect this to your camera itself. Turn on the camera right here. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is download the C-Log profile. So all you have to do is click on the link that's in the description down below. It'll lead you to James Miller's C-Log profiles that you can download for the Canon camera. So unfortunately, this isn't a free service. This is actually mostly a paid service. So you're gonna have to pay around 24 quid for this. But here in Australia, I think we paid, I think I paid around 34, but that's been a while. So right now, as you can see in my screen, is actually the download data already uh, because I've already purchased the product. So all you have to do is download that product and later on, as you finish download, what I did is I just separated this on my desktop folder. So all you have to do is look for this, which is named Canon PF3 Camera Picture Profile for your Canon 
um, EOS log. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect our camera to our Canon EOS utility app and finally install the profiles itself. So right now on my desktop, I have my camera connected already. I have my, I have my camera turned on as well. So turning on the EOS utility app. So what you want to do here is you need to go to camera settings, register picture style file. So as you can see here, there are three user defined profiles here. So you can actually not only put your C log, your C log rec file, and you can also actually put your cinema style uh, profile as well which is in the link down in the description below if you're interested in downloading that as well. All you have to do is go through here, through the folder. EOS Utility would like to access files from your desktop folder. Why, yes, I would like that. So, all you have to do, since I have my files on my desktop folder, just go to desktop, Canon PF3. You see that CCG log profile. So all you have to do is press open. Okay, so why not let's install the rec profile as well on our user defined too. Opening the folder again, rec profile, open. Once we're done with that, we just need to press OK, quit, and later on, just take off this camera right here. Now let's see what we get through this. Okay, so this is the camera right now. Okay, pressing the set button, going here to my picture styles, and... So there you go, you've got C-Log3 and you also got Rec709 for your camera already. So that's just about it. It's really a simple process of downloading it and just installing it on your camera. So if it doesn't work, try resetting your camera and then doing the whole process. It might actually make some changes with your camera as well, which is actually really good. Now all you have to do after that is simply putting in your preferred camera settings again and there you go, you've got your C-Log and your rec file and sooner or later your cinema style as well. Anyways guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope this um, resolves any problems or issues that you're having with your camera and installing the C-Log 3 as well. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments down below. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe and also hit that bell icon for any more future notifications. Until then guys, I'll see you all on the next vid.